So when you visit, you know, my.zerotier.com, this is what you see, right? You can log in, uh, you know, do your single sign-on against Google, GitHub, whatever. Uh, I'm going to just log in with my email address because, you know, Oh, Hunter two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gives me a fresh, you know, like kind of environment. Right. So this is what you see uh, when you first log into zero tier, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you can create a network, right? And then you're presented with this this network ID and this this uh, randomly generated name. Right. Um, if you install zero tier, say on your laptop here, right, we have a curl bash, right? Um, we have packages, right? I forgot to show you the download page, but I'm sure you can find it. But what you end up with is this zero tier, uh, tier CLI, CLI info, right? And what that is, is it's your zero tier identity, right? So when you install the zero tier package, uh, it generates an encryption key like on your on your device right mm -hmm. and then this is the public half of that right so what i can do is i can say zero tier cli uh join i'm gonna pseudo this one join that oops oh you're sorry you're trying to join yourself there yeah sorry i'll do the network id let's try the network give id yourself a handshake yes and give yourself a handshake okay like, hey so yeah we just joined the network there and JJ, I'm going to send you this network ID uh, in chat there. So there, there you go. So go ahead and join that, right? I'll switch back over to my web browser here. So what you see uh, is, so you got to think of this as, as a virtual Ethernet switch, a zero tier network, right? So I have one, I can create as many as I want, two, three, four, five, six of them, right? But we'll just go, which one was it? Um, Crazy Murray, right? Yeah. So I'll say, all right, um, and I'll see down here that I have these these two uh, unauthorized things. I know that this one's me, so I'll name me Somera. I'll name this one JJ. This is called JJ. And then I'll authorize them onto the thing, right? Huzzah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now we can talk to each other, right? So now JJ has an IP on this overlay network, right? Mm -hmm. So if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see there's settings, right? Um, just by default, it kind of gives you like an auto assign, you know, from this kind of like random range, right? So it, it picked 192.168.192.star, uh, right? Uh, you can select a 10 dot, whatever you like. There's IPv6 settings and stuff. You can assign DNS servers, but we did none of that. I'm just going to ping JJ, right? Um, so I'll go back over here and I'll say, actually, that's JJ, you running a web server or anything? You have a Mac. Yeah, probably I'm, a, I'm running a little, little web server on port 8080, but, uh, we're not seeing your screen. We're just seeing the web browser. Oh, sorry. Um, cool. Uh, it's a port, uh, slash, slash, um, slash ping. Slash ping. Yep. There you go. Yay. Um, so I'm talking to JJ's laptop from my laptop right uh we're both on residential you know isps with uh you know nat devices right so normally we, we shouldn't be able to talk to each other like this right so like if if i wanted to like you know share a folder with him from from my laptop he'd be able to see it right if i wanted to share my itunes library or something like that he'd be able to see it